Welcome back. This is Bronwyn with Big Sky Diamond Painting here again with a accessory unboxing and a little bit of a paper crafting haul from Joanne Fabrics because I went up there today thinking I might use a 60% off coupon on a Diamond Dots kit and it turned out that the Diamond Dots kits were 25% off on their own. So I wouldn't be able to use the coupon anyway, and they didn't have anything I liked. So there you have it. Anyway, some of you may already know where this pretty blue envelope is from, and it is from Archer's Arts, because finally, I kind of hemmed and hawed over the June color of the month, because it was rose gold, and... By the time I had decided, eh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get one. It was too late. So I did not like to go on the dark one. So I waited and August had a beautiful color. So I got a grinder and a tray. And I love that they send this pretty envelope. I don't know if they change the color of the envelope every month. But if they do, that's pretty cool. We will set the envelope aside and take a look at what I got. They have this pretty thank you sticker. I think I might have seen those today <laughs> at the store. All right, so I just got the basic tray, which is this nice, and these are all 3D printed. You can, I'll link them below, but you can see them. Um, they're on, they have their own website where you can buy things, but these are really nice 3D printed trays. Very sturdy with nice high sides. And I didn't bother getting a tray plug because it's honestly super easy for me to just use my hand or whatever to, to cover it while I shake. So I, got, I figured I'd try one of these trays. Um, forget, I forget the exact price. Um, it's kind of high for a tray, but since you get to pick the color and you get to, I mean, it's a really nice tray. Ooh, and it has their logo on it too. That's really nice. And it kind of has this like nice raised bit so they don't like all just like flock over there and get stuck on the edge. So that's kind of neat. Anyway, they're, um, I figure they're worth it. And then the other thing I got was a diamond grinder, which is for when your diamonds get stuck together. And, um, they have different handle options now and I got the knob one because I figured that would be easier for me to turn and basically what you do is you put your stuck together diamonds in here and then you put it in there and you you know just grind them around and I don't have any to show you because I really don't have any that are stuck together right now but I do have that problem from time to time so this is going to be super useful for helping with that and I really like this color. I wasn't, I mean, I liked it in the pictures, but like I was not prepared for how much I like this color. So these are both from Archer's Arts. I will put exact prices over their respective items and link to them below the video. I, like I said, I haven't used these yet, but everybody who uses them loves them, so... I cannot imagine they're going to be not good, and I'll let you know if I have any diff anything I don't like about them, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like them. And I love how nicely they're packaged, and also that the diamond grinder came with instructions. So if I didn't already know, like, get the idea of how to use it, they told me. Alright, so, in addition that package coming in today. I have a huge haul from, from Joann's. Um, they were having a paper crafting sale and they had this on clearance. So I'm making, well, okay, so it's been a rough week. Um, we had some drama with the nonprofit I work with. Um, some very serious drama that I can't talk about publicly but suffice to say it was very stressful and is continuing to be very stressful so um 
let's just say it's it's been a rough week and it's continuing to be a rough week. I'm in a lot of pain today. Um, I'm waiting for the painkillers to kick in a little bit, but, you know, we'll see if they do. Sometimes, you know, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen just isn't. I also take Tylenol because the doctor says you can do both because they're not both NSAIDs. Well, whatever. <laughs> Google it, guys. <laughs> anyway, sometimes, um, you know, with my chronic illness, it's just not enough, and I have to kind of just put up with it. So, like I said, it's, it's been a rough week. And then I found out that my aunt has cancer, and I don't know how long she's known, but she just told me on Thursday... And so that's been kind of a shock, and I'm worried about her. And, of course, I'm sending her, you know, healing vibes and all that. But I'm thinking, you know, I've been kind of getting a little bit into paper crafting, mainly junk journals. So I'm thinking I'm going to make her, like, a healing theme junk journal. And I really think she's going to enjoy that kind of thing, because she's into kind of, like, the junky theme things anyway so anyway to get around to where this comes in this was on clearance at Joann's this tag punch um which basically I actually kind of want to try it right now I wonder if, well <laughs> and um I don't know what price it is usually, but I know these are usually at least like $15, and it was on sale for like 8 So I am pretty enthused about that. Okay, so it was $8.47, which I thought was pretty decent. So I am I decided to get it because, you know, junk journals have all the fun little like tuck spots and little places to stick things in and tags are really fun and plus like I can use it for other things but I like this and I don't have like a die cutting machine nor do I honestly want to spend the money on it right now so I thought this would be a good stuff yeah so I'm going to just test it out on this paper we, so I found this <laughs> section, almost everything else that I got other than this and some napkins was from this section of Miss Sparkle and Company things that was in bins. It was all $1.99 and I just went nuts and got like a bunch of stuff that I would thought would, would either be useful in junk journaling or in other miscellaneous stuff. So this little pad of paper with like the cute little llamas and then they call it boho but I just kind of like the style of the paper so let's see let's do one with this pretty rose fabric or not fabric you know what I mean guys nice so yeah it just does a little a cute little tag it's just a little one not super big um but that's like perfect and then like I said um it'll be useful for like you know just regular gift tags and things like that I you know I also do other crafting so that's perfect um so you already saw this pad of paper I guess we'll start off with the pads of paper Like I said, I got quite a few of them. So I got this boho one. I got a camping one. I'm going to have to take most of them. These are like coming off. I got, I got this one mainly for that one with the mountains. And then the one with the constellations on it. 
but now that I look at it, I really like the campfire one and the two plaids. So, honestly, these are all going to be good. This one, of course, you guys know I love succulents. And it has some cacti, too. And if you know anything, you know they're not exactly the same. This one's like photos. So, this one, like I said, they're not all for junk journaling. But I feel like I could throw some of that in a junk journal and it still look good. This one... I like, again, we've got succulents and, you know, just that kind of, I feel like that's the vibe right now, but I don't know what you would call it. Like that sort of, like rose gold succulents and, and aloe and cactus, like washed out kind of look. I'm going to separate these. Um, this is just some just watercolor solids that I got in kind of pastel colors. That's for the um, the rainbow um, handmade paper junk journal that I'm making out of a, a journal cover that I'm repurposing. Clouds and grass. I just thought this one was kind of pretty. This one's just plain craft paper, because that's always useful. Um, this one is different colors of wood grain. It's also supposed to be watercolor, so yeah, I guess it's watercolor. But I thought that was kind of neat. Let's see what else we got. We got another, like, greenery one. This one's like less less photo-y and more cutesy than that other succulent one. Um, but all the, no, we got one more paper pattern. Okay, yeah, that's the last paper pad. And then this one is uh, real flowers. And this one I got just because I really liked the bright colors. Mainly like that that rainbow one, like I love that one, but these are just really pretty. So I like these, and actually I could do like mini mini albums with that. Even I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna fig I'll figure stuff out with them. So I really like those, and then um, I got some some pretty napkins that I saw up front for cheap. Because um, I just thought they were pretty. And now that I like have learned you can decoupage with napkins, I'm like super into that. And then I got a bunch of like bags and stuff. Um, because one of the things I like about junk journaling is how you can like tuck bags and glue bags into them. And like sew bags into them. And like make cool little like tuck spots and things like that. So I got... These two, like, colorful glassine bags, they have different patterns. So this one's got um, four different colors of wood grain glassine. And this one's got um, four different colors, no wait, four different patterns of bright colored glassine. And then this one's just, like, paper sacks with rainbow stripes. I think, yeah, they're just, oh, there's polka dots in there too. So, right, rainbow stripes. And then I got some little tiny mini craft bags that I think are just paper. I don't think they're glassine. But yeah, they're just paper. So I thought those would be like really cute, just like glued onto a page or something. And obviously, like, this is maybe more for my rainbow journal that I'm doing, but, you know, I think that they're going to be really cute. Um, let's see, some little coin envelopes, kind of the same thing I was thinking along the lines of those, and I think, okay, oh. More of these little craft bags. Okay, and then I got some of these little mini cards and envelopes. Because, um, like, 
mainly because the little the cute little envelopes came with them but also because of the cards because like the mini cards can tuck into the envelope thought those were cute and then i got a couple packs of tags these let's see so 30 tags so 10 of each design there's a rainbow there's a unicorn and then like a unicorn face and then a unicorn jumping and then this is just 30 tags with the leaves on them which i thought were pretty so the unicorn tags this is what the jumping unicorn looks like and this is what the little unicorn face looks like and that's what just the rainbow looks like so you know um most of this stuff, like I said, is probably going to end up in my journal that I'm making from the rainbow, um, the rainbow cover, because it's more, like, brightly colored, but, like, in, in a, like, muted stuff, um, the paper's more, like, there's a more of a spread on the paper, um, but, like, I kind of think I want to do something maybe shabbier and more, like, traditionally I don't want to say traditional because like a junk journal can be anything I feel but like more of like the style that you see a lot like vintagey looking um for my aunt because I think that's what she would like more but I don't know I feel like maybe she might enjoy something with this kind of aesthetic if I did like maybe that color palette So I don't know. Well, I'm just, I'm going to kind of mess around and, and see. But anywho, that is my Joanne's haul. It went a little crazy, but you know how it is with those bins. Um, I think did I also, I did. Okay. Yeah. I, um, I also got this little set of like typewriter key stamps because I think it's always good to have a little alphabet. So yeah, um, that is all there is for you guys today. So if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see when I upload a new video. Uh, I think that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching Big Sky Diamond Painting. I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.